big ass salad. Wholesome, it's filling. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. I have some fun things to share with you from the past week. I filmed some food prep that I've been doing, things that I think everyone should do. Save yourself some time and just prep all at once. I'll show you guys how I did that this week. Might show a few short clips from the fair we went to on Wednesday, today's Friday. Ooh, we were there for four hours. My feet were tired by the end and swollen. This boy is really growing. Things are just starting to get real, you know what I mean? I have a lot to do today. Good morning, Rose. Good morning, Mommy. <laughs> We're gonna be decluttering a little bit today. We're gonna be getting rid of some furniture, which needs to be done, because there's just too much stuff on each wall. Um, as you'll see in a clip, we got some different furniture. I'm excited to take you guys along on this journey for this room transformation that's gonna happen for Rosalie because it's gonna be a big transformation because there's a lot that needs to get out and there's a lot that needs to be moved around. So this was my brother's room. It's really cool in there. There's like a bunch of graffiti and we've had multiple exchange students who have added to the walls with just like song lyrics and different quotes all over the walls, um, posters and just a lot of stuff. It's not suitable for Rosalie. I don't think she would be comfortable in there. And I just want to set us up for success with having two kids. I want Rosalie to have her own space and we're just on the brink of getting very functional up in here. So I hope you guys are ready for some decluttering because I know I am because the nesting urges are getting real. <laughs> <laughs> What's in there, Rose? A caterpillar. Is he still hibernating? Yeah. We're waiting for him to wake up. He will turn into a moth. That's right. Would that be neat? Yes. I would get a butterfly and the caterpillar and um. And a firefly. Okay, hey you guys. I've been vlogging a lot on my phone lately because I got the new iPhone 12 Pro Max. If you saw my last video, took it with me to the fair and got some really cute pictures. The video is pretty good. It doesn't necessarily compete with my DSLR, but I do love it. I'm about to use this new hair dryer that I got. I've used one similar to it that my mom handed down to me, but then it actually got recalled, so I needed to get a different one. Once you use this tool, you literally can not go without. It tames my hair really well, but I saw the reviews and it, it could tame really frizzy curly hair and I already have like smooth, this is my natural hair, it's still damp. So my hair is really straight, but it stays like poofy unless I use a little bit of heat. I'm gonna use some spray gel from Pantene, but then I also got this Sleek It, Sleek It Iron Straight Heat Spray. We will see how this goes, but today we're doing some decluttering. Rosalie wants to move into Zach's office. When the baby comes, he's gonna be up a lot during the night. I don't want her to be grouchy if she doesn't get sleep. So I wanna start now before he comes, get her comfortable in there, and I don't want it to be like, oh, the week he comes, then they swap rooms, and you know, she's out and he's in. Like, that does not sound like a good plan because it could be really hard on her. So that's our plans for this weekend. It is Friday right now. I'm gonna make us some salads here in a little bit. If I already made the salads, I gotta make the ranch and the chicken. That's a little bit of what I have planned for the day. Here's the final result. Very shiny and smooth and flat. And that took me five minutes. Highly recommend this heat tool. And this cost me $39 worth every penny. Here's a back view. Big fan. 
that's enough chit chat. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. And here is a little bit of footage of things that we did at the fair and some food prep. I know you guys will enjoy it. Right. Today I will be prepping the ingredients for three different meals. One big ass salad. Sweet and delicious pasta salad. And a hit for the whole family, we have summer vegetable fried rice with some bacon and tons of veggies. It's wholesome, it's filling. This is something kind of new that I've been doing is just prepping vegetables. This is not something I've always done, but it's something I would love to do much more often because it's just sets you up for the week. I mean, it took me a good like two and a half hours to get all this done, but then I don't have to do it again. You gotta be in the right mindset to get it all done and accomplished. And I wasn't, but I just did it anyway because dang it, that's mom life for you. So I cut everything up also for that. For this pasta salad, which is in here and I spilled it everywhere, but that's okay. And that has to sit for a couple hours before we can eat it. Take a screenshot and try it for yourself. Okay, so I got stuff prepped for a summer vegetable fried rice. That'll be really good. I only will have to do bacon and rice for this. So if you want to try this screenshot, it's very good, very filling, and pretty wholesome. So that is one recommendation I have for you guys. Everyone should do this at the beginning of the week. Just prep one big ass salad or a bass one bass it's wholesome it's filling i should add some spinach in there but zach would not be a fan then super easy make some chicken in the pressure cooker which will take like uh, 15 minutes maybe oh by the way i passed my glucose test i do not have gestational diabetes I'm like at a point where I really want to start nesting and like organizing things and making things look neat and tidy because I'm the type of person who is very affected by my environment and how my living space looks. As much as I love my the home I grew up in, the basement, the thing I'm just struggling with the most is there's just stuff on every single wall. Every single wall there's things. Rosalie's making a castle with these right now, but those are normally right there, so there's a lot of stuff there. So the plan is actually to declutter a little bit, hopefully Friday. <laughs> so in the salad, I have about a head of lettuce, a full tub of tomatoes, a whole green pepper. Then I have these cucumbers separate, and then I'm gonna make homemade butter milk ranch, which is bussin' bussin', you guys. And then we'll also add croutons and chicken to the tops of those salads and, ooh, I can't even, I can't even articulate, do. I can't even really articulate how fire these salads are. So filling, so satisfying, so fresh. For the chicken breast, I pressure cooked it for 15 minutes. For the seasonings, I just added Laurie's seasoning salt, crushed red pepper, black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and that's what I always put on my chicken breast, and it's always bussin' bussin'. In the bottom of the crock pot, I added just enough chicken broth to cover the bottom. Chop up these eggs and the chicken breast roughly, add some croutons, and you already know I put a ton of ranch on top of Zach's salad because, as he would say, you don't want it to get stuck on the way down. What are you excited about, Rosie and Baby? Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't rain on us. <laughs> yeah, it's dark there. Where do you go? <laughs>
look at his, oh, look at his little wet nose. <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> his face is 